welcome to another Fountain Pen Day review. Today's pen is going to be the Pelican M400 White Tortoise. Uh, this pen I acquired second hand, so I don't have the box. Um, it does come in a blue box that has a uh, leather cover, leatherette cover that comes with it. It's really nice. Uh, you can Google it and uh, you can see what it is. It's nice, but I don't have it. So, But I do have the pen, most important part. Um, we'll start with the cap because this is the older version of it that has the black logo with the pelican in, the, uh, in gold in the middle. The newer version is uh, this black part is actually frosted gold. Um, you can see the crown cap. The clip is like a bell, uh, pelican's beak. Sure, focused here. You can see the way it, it swoops down. Uh, nice, strong. Um, this one I've actually taken to work because it does this clip the way it slides in. See how it's it's up here. It does slide into a uh, short pocket really nicely, and it, it holds tight. You can see the uh, part of the beak. I always thought this. I think I've heard other people. I think it, uh, Mr. Brown has even said it. It looks like the the eyes of the uh, pelican right right at the very top, right in here. But uh, really nice. The contrast on this pen is beautiful. Uh, right. I'll give you a close-up of the cap in a second. Um, I have this raised up for a reason. I wanted you to be able to get a, a really good shot of the nib. It comes with a two-tone 14 karat gold nib. This one is uh, fine. And the two-tone nib is really nice on this. Really, really nice. The design. Nice gold band right here. I mean, the contrast of the white and the tortoise and the gold reflects well. Great feed. Um, it's plastic feed, but it does really well. Uh, no skipping or anything like that with this. It's a typical Pelican workmanship. I mean, super smooth nib. Um, the other thing that you can see is the uh, transparency. I'll have a better shot when I get it down low. But you can see the plunger. The end of the plunger is right here, and if I move it, let's see if I bring it down, you can see you can you can see through this. So when, when we draw up ink into it, you'll be able to see how much you have. And the plunger system itself, the white, it follows all the way through. So you can you can see that it it helps show you the transparency of it. Two more gold bands here, just to accent. Beautiful pen, really, really nice. Right, I'll try to show you a, a better shot. I move this around to the transparency of it, so you can see a lot, a lot clearer what I'm talking about when I say that you can see through it by bringing the light down. Now you can really see what I mean. It, it's very transparent. So when I move the piston, you can see. Inside, really nice. And the striations in the tortoise are beautiful. Each one, uh, obviously, is different because of the way they're manufactured. But it really, it really shows off well. This was also made into a 600, which is the size I probably should have gotten since I have larger hands. Um, and I'll show you. This one may. This one may fly the coop. As much as I like it and it's a beautiful pen, I should have waited and gotten a, uh, a 600 because this grip section really, for someone with large hands, for me at least, the way that I like to write, it, it just cramps my fingers down and I feel like everything's bunched up. But All right, we're not going to take a lot of time because I want to get to the writing sample and we'll weigh it out. You can see just how beautiful this nib is. While I have it, um, Sorry, I should have done this. The other thing that's really nice about Pelicans, these nibs units, um, and, and they are units, screw out very easily. Um, going counterclockwise to take it out, grab top, grab bottom as close as you can. And then I, I usually try and turn the, uh, the pen itself instead of the feed and just hold on to it so that you don't accidentally 
misalign your, your um, nib itself. Sorry, but you see the whole nib unit comes right out. So if you were to have a nib meister work on it, or if you were to buy a second nib that a nib meister has worked on, you can simply buy the unit so you have a secondary one. If you wanted cursive italic or something a little more fancy, you can do that very, very easily. And I thought that was really nice. And you can see here's the inside of it. This one was a really clean example. And the light fell. That's okay. <laughs> so, anyways, the nib unit just comes, it just screws back in. Don't over tighten it. I usually just give it one little so you can feel it nudge in. Um, sorry. And I'll give you one last shot of the cap while I have it up close. You can see how the white and the and the gold really uh, they really uh, contrast well. Hmm. Actually, this one's got I never noticed two little tiny marks on the uh, on the crown itself. It'll focus. I don't know how that happened. I can't imagine somebody bit it there, but I just noticed there and there. Hmm. Well, anyways, like I said, it was secondhand. Um, Beautiful pen. It's not about the tiniest of little marks that are on a pen, but you know it's good to know that it's it's been used. I used it quite a bit, but anyways, okay, let's get to a writing sample. We'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. We'll uh, give us a quick weigh and see what we have. Again, this is going to be weighed out in grams. All right, the whole pen comes in at fourteen point seven. Light pen. It's nice. Remember, this is uninked. Uh, the cap is. 5.3, the pen alone, 9.3, um, I usually uh, post this one, I gently post it, um, another thing I'll show you really quick, inside this cap, you can see there are tiny little micro cracks right there, and like another one there, they don't affect anything, I mean the, uh, it's really nice, uh, Gold edging on the on here. This this the cap ring. I'm sorry. Uh, make sure that it won't you know. I guess stress further. Uh, and it does say, just so we know. Make sure it's in focus. It's hard to read. Hmm. But Pelican Sauvignon and Germany on there. Sorry. So, with that, we'll ink it with uh, some Noodler's Pecan. Standard piston filler. Piston down. Submerge. Piston up. Give it a quick wipe. Now, being that it's white and the threads are even white, this does, if you don't wipe it down really, really good, it will hold ink in there. You have one small spot that you can see that there's still a little ink just from a general wipe down. So you do want to wipe this down a little more carefully than you will other pens simply because, again, the white is going to show any ink that you may have on it. Um, again, this one generally I will post just because it gives it some extra length because I do have larger hands. Um, and it does, yeah, it does cramp my fingers a little. But it is very nice. I mean, it's a great pen. Beautiful pen. Uh, we use one of my new favorite notebooks, Life Vermilion. This is the B6 size. And I'll shake you a little bit, bring you down close, and we'll see just how she writes. Put a little more light down here. Uh, this is a fine nib, I'm sorry. Starts up right away. No skipping at all. Like I said, this pen really doesn't have those issues at all. Pelican nibs are known to be um, really smooth and uh, without issue.
I would say it's a medium wetness this one is set at right now. And, surprisingly, the nib does have a little bit of give. It's got some spring to it, so it will give you some line variation as well. Not to take Stephen's hello, I just started writing it and realized it. I try and stay away from using hello because that is absolutely his signature, uh, his signature word. It does show, out, show it off really well, though, I must say. Um, is what I always use. I'm not really pushing this to do this. And I usually, most of the time, I just do the first letter. I mean, I did the L's here just to show, you know, how much line variation is here, you know, to, to the bottom of it. Generally, my writing is sloppier, like this. But you can see that this, this nib is very nice, very smooth. It's, it's forgiving. And an ink like this, it has shading. It, it, it does definitely is wet enough that it'll bring it out. Um, I guess it's a little wetter than I thought. I mean, there's hot lights going down on this, but you can even so, it's really wet. <laughs> but this is also a very good ink. This, this ink flows really well. Um, so anyways, that was about it. I really just wanted to give you guys some of the highlights and show you uh, what this pen is about. You can also see, uh, you know, how much darker it is in here because it's filled with ink now. You can see where it's partially, yeah, there you go. You can see it's translucent here in the background and then over here where it's not. And that's, uh, that's really the, where the ink is. Sorry. Obviously, it's where the ink is. So, on that note. I'm going to say thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, make sure you post them, and I'd be glad to answer. Have a great fountain pen day this year. First November. Oh. <laughs> First day in November this year. Celebrate it all weekend. No railroad, no skip. Have a great day.